Naaman was a sinner. Did you know that every person is born a sinner? That includes you and me. We were born wanting to do things our own way instead of God's way, and that is sin. Maybe in school you cheated on the test. That's not God's way. Or maybe you make fun of someone because of how they look or what they do. That's not God's way. These things are sin. This black cray paper reminds us of what sin does in our lives. The Bible says in the book of John, chapter 8, verse 34, Jesus answered them, Truly, truly, I say to you, everyone who practices sin is a slave to sin. Sin is also serious because it separates you from God, who is holy and always does right. God must punish sin, and the punishment is to be apart from him forever in a terrible place of suffering. While you're going on your own way, you cannot have a friendship with God. Without God, there is nothing you or I can do about our sin. Everyone is a sinner. Naaman was a sinner. He did not know or care about the true and living God. Naaman didn't care about God, but God cared about him and wanted Naaman to know him. God cares about you too. Maybe you've never thought about God before. He brought you here today so you could hear about him and know him. This circle reminds us that God doesn't have a beginning or an end. He made you and he loves you. He is the powerful creator who made everything, the birds that sing and the beautiful flowers and trees. But you are special to him. He knows all about you, how old you are, how many hairs are on your head, and how you have sinned. This powerful God is also perfect and his love for you is perfect. In the Bible, God says, I have loved you with an everlasting love. God cares about you and wants you to know him. God cared about Naaman and wanted Naaman to know him, even though Naaman didn't care about God at all. But God's way was the one way for Naaman's skin to be made clean from the disease. God gives one way you can be made clean from your sin. Word up. God cleans. His perfect plan, God sent his perfect son, the Lord Jesus, to earth. Jesus never went his own way. He always did things his father's way. The Lord Jesus died on the cross, taking the punishment you deserve for your sin. The blood that flowed from Jesus' hands and feet on the cross was the payment God required for your sin. God's word says in 1 John chapter 1, verse 7, and the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Jesus is the only one who could die for you because he is completely without sin of his own. After Jesus died, he was buried, but on the third day, he came back to life. Today, he is alive and ruling in heaven. When you believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sin and receive him as your savior, your sins will be washed away and you will be released from the punishment of sin. Word up, God cleans. God provided one way you can be made clean from your sin. God provided one way for Naaman to be clean from his disease.